What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X. Today I'm going to show you guys how to unbrick, unroot the Galaxy S6 Edge. Uh, if you were getting ready to return yours for warranty purposes, like getting that accelerometer issue squared away with Verizon, you're going to need to know how to set it back to factory settings. If you've ever rooted your device, you want to make sure that you flash an Odin file, and that's what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do with your device is power it off and then boot into download mode. So the way that we will get into download mode is uh, volume down, home button, and power at the same time. Okay, so from this screen, uh, we're going to volume up to continue, and then we're going to plug this into our computer. Okay, so once the device is plugged in, you're going to open up Odin, and I will link you to the correct version, but the version you're looking for is Odin. 3.10.6, so go ahead and open that. Also, be sure to download the stock image. I'll have a link in the description for that as well. And the one you're looking for is the 925V VCW. This is for the Verizon variant. I'll be sure to include the links for other variants of the Edge and then also variants of the Galaxy S6. Uh, so first thing we'll do is go ahead and open up Odin. Okay, make sure your device is seen here. Now, the easiest way to load the drivers is simply to plug in your device and then Windows will automatically update the drivers. If your device is brick though, you may have to manually install those, so I'll be sure to include a link in the description of where you can find the drivers. Uh, once you see that your device is seen here, uh, we'll go to the AP button, go ahead and click the AP button. Find that file uh, that we just downloaded and it should be the 925. You will have to extract that G925 file first. So you need a program like WinRAR, you would just basically uh, open up the file, go to extract, and extract that file. Once it's extracted, uh, then we'll be able to go ahead and flash it in Odin. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click the AP button here, and then we'll find our file. It's going to be this all Verizon G925, and yours will be different depending on the variant of device that you have. So we'll go ahead and choose that. We'll go ahead and open that file. Okay, so once the file is loaded up here, we'll just go ahead and press start. And it should go ahead and run. I uh, should go ahead and run the upload. So you see, it's flashing recovery. It's flashing system. And we'll just give it a few minutes to do its thing, and then we should have a fresh, stock, clean Galaxy S6 Edge, just like we had taken it out of the box for the first time. And you can see here on the screen itself, it gives you a little progress bar there. Okay, so when it's all finished, you're going to get a pass, and it's going to go ahead and reboot. Your phone now there's still that custom logo there uh, so we'll have to do a factory reset on the phone's memory and to get rid of that custom logo but once you've done that you get to carry in this device and trade it in and everything will be good to go if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com follow me on twitter at droidmoderx thanks guys for watching be blessed i'll see you in the next one